my name is Chris and I welcome you back to my channel. Today is March 22nd and I'm going to be doing our cash envelope and sinking fund envelope stuffing for the third week of March. I had meant to put this up last Friday, however, I got busy doing other things and then over the weekend just pretty much got lazy, so I do apologize and hopefully I will get these more on a um a normal um delivery i guess you could say to you guys and so but anyway uh i'll go ahead and get started and first i want to go ahead and count out the money that i have so you will know how much we're putting into uh, the envelopes this week so i hope all of you are having a great month so far um the weather here has just been really really great uh, it's been getting pretty warm too as a matter of fact um but I, we had a long cold winter though and I'm just I'm glad for the change I do feel sorry for those of you who haven't gotten the spring weather yet but just hang on tight it's coming so let me go ahead and count the money and we'll get started so 20 40 60 80 100 20 30 40 50 60 65 70 75 80 so I have 180 dollars that I have pulled from the bank um, as normal, we just have a few envelopes that we're stuffing right now. I'm still trying to get a video put together, um, that, that will go over what our, why we have these envelopes and why we do not have others that you, um, we're used to seeing. And so, um, I will get that together and, um, out as soon as I can. So to start off with, I have moving. For those of you who are new, welcome. Uh, my wife and I have started a savings fund or a sinking fund, as they call it, uh, for moving. And this is pretty much um, what it sounds like. We're wanting to sell our home uh, and then buy some family land and then uh, build a new home. And so whatever cost that we might incur uh, just from moving expenses, uh, we're putting some money aside for that. So right now we have $815. We're currently putting $35 into this each week. And so that's what we'll be doing today as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put our bank money over here to the side. And then I'm going to go ahead and update our tracker. Today again is the 22nd. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that here. This is a deposit plus 35, and that will give us 900 and, no, <laughs> I can't do my math today. Let me just use my calculator. Okay. All right, so 815 plus 35 is 850. That was way off so sometimes it's just easier and quicker to use the calculator so 850 is what we have now so i'm going to take a 20 a 10 and a 5 to give us 35 and we'll count all this and make sure we have the correct um, amount notated so 100 200 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 400, 420, 440, 460, 480, 500, 520, 540, 560, 680, 700, 720, 740, 750, 760, 770, 780, 790, 800, 810, 815, 820, 825, 830, 835, 840, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. All right, there we go. Um, I'm thinking our goal for this will be about 1500 before I stop putting money into it. Um, I'm not sure yet. I may go past 1500 or, you know, we'll just have to see. I, the more we have, the better. And of course, if whatever's left can be put into savings later if we don't use it all uh, for moving expenses, which I'm sure we'll probably need this and more because moving can be pretty costly. 
Next we have is car maintenance. This is another one of our savings funds. We're putting um, 35 into this each week as well. And so I'll go ahead and put 35 to the side. So let's see, we'll do 10, 20, and a five. So currently in here, we have $306. And again, we're adding 35 to this. So <clears throat> go ahead and put the money together. So I'm going to put the date, 322, deposit, 35. All right, so plus 35, that will give us 35, 341. I have extra lighting now that I use, but I still find it dim in some areas, which is strange. Um, so hopefully y'all will be able to see the video okay. So three forty one. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's count that. All right, so 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 341 dollars. There we go. Next, um, for our two miniature schnauzers and our two um, cats, and they are all indoor pets, we have a, um, a savings fund or a sinking fund built up for any uh, grooming that has to be done, um, for vet expenses and for uh, medicines that they take monthly to help um, keep fleas, ticks, and heartworms away. And this is what this money is for. So, as of the 15th, we had added 35, which left us with 332. So, I'm going to add 35 to this again today. So, 20, 30, and 5. 20, 10... Okay, 322, deposit, 35, will give us 367, should be. Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. 220, 240, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, 310, 320, 330, 340, 345, 350, 355, 360, 365, 366, 367. So $367. 367. dollars Everybody's doing well right now, which is a good thing. Um, you never know when they might get into something or you know, that might upset their tummy. And then with animals, of course, you can't tell what's going on with them because they will, they can't tell you. And so um, that's happened a couple times with Toby where he had to go into the vet one time because he was acting very lethargic, just, you know, he wasn't acting his playful self at all. I took him to the vet and they um, had to run an x-ray and they found something, but they couldn't tell it what it was. So they hooked him on IVs overnight, and the next morning they did a second x-ray, and then whatever had appeared the first time had disappeared. And so things like that happen periodically, and then when that happens, I don't hesitate to take them to the vet because I don't know what's going on, and if it was something serious, I would have no way of telling without... And plus, our vet is like 
less than five minutes away from us, which makes it super convenient. So there we go. Next we have is pet care. This is uh, um, not really a savings, but it's money we put aside each week for weekly expenses for our pets, um, such as food, treats, and uh, maybe toys and uh, puppy pads, cat litter, you know, the necessary things that you have to buy um, for cats and dogs. As of the 15th, we have $67 in here. Um, this is currently getting 30 a week, so I'm going to add 30. That will give us $97 deposit. And 322. So 20 and 30. All right, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 96, 97. 97 dollars. There we go. Next we have is a um, cash envelope for health expenses. Um, this is one that my wife keeps with her. Uh, she works at a pharmacy full time and so that when we need medicines uh, filled, whether they're prescriptions or over the counter, um, she uses money from here to pay for those things. So right now the budget for this is 20 a week. So we do not keep uh, budget trackers um, on this one, as well as the one that I'm about to show you, she just uses it as she needs it. So I'm just going to add 20 to that. And then after the video, I will give this to her. And then also, my wife Amanda gets a lunch budget each week on the day she wants to eat out. She's pretty good about taking her lunch every day, but on Fridays, um, they like to eat out sometimes. So for that, she gets 25 a week. Um, sometimes the money piles up for her and she ends up using the money for other things. And sometimes she may buy lunch for, uh, her coworkers. So wh whatever way she chooses is good. Um, but we're doing 25 a week for that right now. So again, we're not using a budget tracker. I'm just going to put this in here and then she will get the money as soon as the video is done. So as of right now guys this is everything that we're stuffing i know you probably wonder um well what about our grocery budget what about our our fuel budget for our cars and um you know maybe some other ones that you used to see in my videos but that uh, some things have changed the way we budget and again i'm getting a video put together for that so i will be able to clearly explain uh, what's going on behind the scenes you could say so I hope y'all enjoyed this video though. Um, I always enjoy watching cash envelope stuffing videos and I hope y'all find mine uh, interesting, entertaining, whatever you want to say, or that uh, if you see any improvements that I can make, please let me know in the comments below. I welcome feedback um, because I may be doing things or saying things that need correcting perhaps maybe my style i don't know just leave me good feedback down below if you have any uh if the lighting is good for you let me know if it's not let me know just whatever whatever's on your mind I, i'd love to hear from you guys so with that i'm going to uh close i hope y'all have a wonderful um week and that y'all your families as well as yourselves are staying healthy and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.